welcome to Yellow Tunnel. My name is Vlad Karpel. I'm CEO and founder of both Yellow Tunnel and Tradespunt. These are two sister companies. Uh, at Yellow Tunnel, we specialize more on trading psychology, and this is what I'd like the, to have uh, this conversation about. It's a brief uh, five-minute video. For those of you who are new to Yellow Tunnel or Tradespoon, this is my brief bio. I was executive vice president and head of technology at Options Express. From its inception through 2007, Options Express was an line broker deal acquired by Charles Schwab in 2011. At some point, the company was worth over $2 billion. I've been trading and managing my own money over 15 years, mentoring and teaching Tradespoon subscribers and Yellow Tunnel subscribers how to trade stock and options and uh, how to deal with uh, emotional aspect and trading psychology aspect. And uh, my background is computer science and uh, artificial intelligence. Disclosures, uh, trading stock and options involve risk and are not suitable for everyone. You must be aware of the risk and be willing to accept them in order to invest in current market conditions. I'm not a financial advisor, I'm not registered with FINRA, nor a CC. I'm showing you what I do in my own portfolio based on my own risk tolerance level. So let's first talk about trading psychology. As the market selling off and we're reaching the 200-day moving average, it's very important to be self-aware. Emotional intelligence, the research shows that has just as much impact on your trading decision as your uh, cognitive thinking and your uh, cognitive intelligence. So being self-aware is very important to know exactly why you're trading and make sure you don't chase the market. What's the right reason for the trading? Uh, uh, do the breathing exercises at our trading room. I always encourage subscribers to take five minutes and make sure you scan your body, you're self-aware, and you're not chasing the market. You're not trying to do revenge trade. You're trying to be uh, objective and trade, build your trading plan. Now I'll go over the quickly the trading plan and some of the key takeaways from the trading plan shortly. So plan trading plan and trade trading plan is very important. Make sure you don't deviate from your trading plan uh, when the market uh, uh, sells off. Realize that uh, you should be trading based on statistics and you cannot control the single outcome of the trading event. So when you get into a position, ultimately you don't know with 100% certainty whether this trade will be successful or not. But if you follow the statistics, then you can structure your trades where you're 50% of the time correct, 80% of the time correct, 90% of the time of the correct. And the more often you want to be correct, the less uh, reward you are looking for. And another very important feeling is regret. When you are trading, especially during market sell-off, you need to look into the future and see if the market continues sell-off and breaks the 200-day moving average, how will you feel at that point of time? Will you regret that you lost more, that you did not follow your trading plan? Uh, and if you know that in the future, if you don't follow your trading plan and you will feel the regret, then that forward-looking uh, analysis, that anticipation of the future will re of regret will help you follow your trading plan. Uh, so some of the tips for trading plan, find key support and resistance levels. 200 days moving average on spiders and 50 day moving average is overhead resistance. We've seen market trading be between 200 days moving average and 50 day moving average. Um, let's look at the spiders. So we're just pierced through 200 day moving average. You can see the Bollinger Bands. We pierced it uh, below the 200 day moving average and now we're trading right at that level. So this is a key support level. This is where you can structure your trade where you have a lot of room to the upside, potentially market can rebound eight, nine points. Uh, and if the market continues sell off, then you would exit your position and maybe have two to three dollars to the downside, but have uh, six to nine dollars to the upside. So structuring your trade with the favorable risk versus reward ratio is very important. Um, hedge, uh, if you're exposed to the market, you can always look at the portfolio delta and if you have um, more than 70% of your portfolio exposed to the market. Uh, you can hedge your portfolio by buying VXX ETF, you can buy spiders puts or put spreads, you can buy uh, treasuries, you can buy gold. All of these asset classes will appreciate if the market sells off. Also cover calls, if you have stocks, you can always sell ca uh, calls against it by reducing your cost basis. And another rule that I always follow is raising cash. Make sure you close the stocks that are trading, that um, 
outperform in the market on the downside uh, and keep uh, your strong stocks that are outperforming the market on the upside. So if you see stocks that are outperforming the market right now, you want to keep them. If you see stocks that are selling off more than the market, those are the stocks that you probably want to close. And in terms of trade spoon, this is the analytics. Yellowtown will concentrate on trading psychology. Trade spoon will concentrate on analytics. You can see that the trade spoon, our predictions on Sunday, this is a seasonal chart that we ran on Sunday. Four out of four predictions were lower. And usually in June, you do see a correction, short-term correction. Uh, my position right now, we are 200-day moving average. I still think we're in the last stage of the bull market. This is not a beginning of the bear market. So this is an opportunity where long-term investment, if you look into September, if you look into December, this is an opportunity to buy stocks at the discount. And this is something that I would encourage you. Short-term, if you have June or July option position, then short-term, you should anticipate um, volatility to continue to expand and you potentially want to trim down your June and July position. Thank you very much and have a great day.